Welcome. Today, we will talk about key generations and which options you have. So the standard option is to generate a key within the HSM with the random generator within the HSM, and it will never leave the Securus's security boundary. Additionally, you would have the option to make the key extractable with the key flag. So you have a future migration path open in case you want to plan to migrate to another system. The export can be prevented by the device config or the partition config if you're using partition configuration. And later it is recommended that you do the extract with um, a wrapper for the new device. So you move the key from one security boundary to another without having it external somewhere. So you would do a wrapped export where you have the public key already from the destination target device to import it there. You could do also a key generation and extract it immediately. Um, it is not recommended for external safekeeping um, because then you need to ensure that the safekeeping is safe um, somehow and it's difficult to audit. But the feature is used for key injection to IoT devices or for bring your own key, which is also a wrapped export to bring your own key to the Azure or AWS solutions. Additionally, you could do a key import. So that's the path to migrate from another system to Securus, but we do not recommend that you create the key with a random generator outside and keep it safe outside and additionally import to the HSM. Um, in case you really want to create the key outside, at least you could use the HSM as a random source to ensure you have good randomness. And last, we do allow the seeding, that's for the blockchain community, like with Bitcoin wallets, where you have a seed that deterministically defines the key. We got that as an import as well, because the seed is outside of the HSM, so you could also create the key outside of the HSM. So that was a lot to take in. So we have that graphically as well. The standard operation with the randomness within the HSM, then the later migration, number two, to later be able to do a migration, then the export for external use, the import where you have created the key externally, the import where you use the random generator within the HSM and the seeding. So we made a table for advantages and disadvantages um, the disadvantage is always um, if you have the key outside, you need to ensure its safety. The advantage is always that it's then flexible for some use case where you actually demand that. Um, it's always better to use a true random generator if you have one. And the best case scenario is to create the key at the place where you actually want to store it, so it's not on many different places. You need to be aware that the key generation has nothing to do with the redundancy. So either if you import it or export it or you generate the key, redundancy can always be ensured within the security boundary with cloning and clustering and backhopping and partition backup and so on. So you can have the key redundant without doing any export or import or stuff. We have another video for the options of clustering and cloning. Um, please refer to that other video. We do have a concept to actually prove 
if the key was created in the HSM or if it was imported or it was exported. That's the attestation. So you can say get attestation and you get all the key flags and all the additional multi-authorization policy and all this XML file is signed with an attestation key and you get the complete certificate chain to the Securus's root. And this way you can prove that the key is within Securus's boundary and which policy it has and which attributes it has. So you can prove that the key was generated within the HSM or that maybe it is extractable, but it has never been extracted yet. So however you create the key, you will have full transparency for an audit. We do have another video to explain the audit features in more detail and also the certificate chain. Thank you for your attention.